Tyler, this is Vincent Yu from MD Set Consulting. In this video, I will be showing you a working two way C2 channel that operates over the Tor network. C2 channels over the Tor network have been researched for a while. Josh Pitt has posted the following guide on how to get similar functionality working on Empire. The technique used in this video utilizes the Malleable Profile feature in Cobalt Strike. The Malleable Profile used in this demonstration was created earlier in another longer video that has instructions and guides the audience through the process of analyzing, debugging and developing a working C2 channel. Enjoy! So let's begin by looking at the Malleable Profile that I will be using. Here we have an onion.cab uh, domain name where we will use as a front to minimize the chances of the blue team detecting our hidden service address. So as previously explained in, in my other domain fronting videos, we need to set the host header to the actual instance that we're trying to hit in the on the other side. So I've also demonstrated how onion.cab can be used as a front, so we'll be exploiting this functionality in this video. The rest is explained in the other video. I'll begin by launching the team server and connecting to it. Okay, so we're in. Begin by creating a beacon with TCP port 443 port and reverse HTTPS. The host doesn't really matter at this point because we're not going to be using it for staging as Cobalt Strike currently doesn't support the use of headers during the staging phase and only like starts using the headers after it's staged. We're going to use onion.cab as it will allow us to use this as a front and hide our hidden service address. So now that we've started the listener, we're going to generate a payload. Save. Okay. Now switch it back to reverse HTTP on port 80. This, this step is explained in my longer video, so you can go back and watch that if you're interested. This is a beacon that was running because I had it going. Okay. All right, is everything dead now? Okay, cool. We're going to try and run it. Uh, that's the wrong beacon. Right now, double click on beacon, we'll see some traffic go through. Hopefully, yep, TLS traffic. And here we'll see this beacon, okay. Now, we see that the external address is 127001 because it's in the Tor network, I think. So let's begin by doing a sleep zero shell task list and we'll see whether it actually gives us two AC2 okay so when it hits 60 seconds we should get two AC2 Okay, so it's just past one minute and I haven't, the output's not back yet. There's probably some lag due to it being over the Tor network. It's still sending data, so. There we go, we've got a process list. 
So let's do a let's do a let's get some patches. There we go. So we can see that my last patch was applied. Oh, surprisingly. Oh, is it? Oh, a year ago. <laughs> right, cool. Well, that's that's it for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more information, do visit my other longer video. It's about 25 minutes, but it covers the development cycle and debugging of the profile in depth. And it will cover the, like, the cookies and core things that you need for the proxy to accept the connection and also not cache specific items. Thanks for watching.